Well guys, it's Complete Tech Crew. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and review and a kind of a comparison for the purpose of this specific tool. Uh, we're looking at a part number of a 2866-22CTP. I know it's a lot to put together. Um, this is a drywall screw gun kit and it includes the M18 cutout tool. The screw gun itself is a fuel tool. The cutout tool is not. Um, this kit came in roughly at 250 or it was 249. To me, um, it's kind of pricey because this drywall screw gun singularly is uh, 159 currently and it's always on some type of promotion, particularly during the uh, holidays and the end of the year. So they they believe that this tool is included free, but to me, that's just a $99 tool. It used to be like 89 some years ago, but it's 99 currently, I believe, or more than that. So um, I don't see where the value is or how this could be free if it's uh, 250 bucks but I'm not complaining about it. Obviously I have an issue. Uh, I didn't really need it, but I needed it because I have an issue with tools. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, to me, I'll be using it a lot, you know, um, experimentally and doing all my little projects because when I do my own drywall, I'm kind of building out another little studio section now coming in uh, the much later future. And um, I'd love to test this out and see what the difference is in comparison to this. Um, to the standard M18 fuel impact and the uh, surge impact. I'd like to see the difference in, in it. So um, without further ado, we'll dig right into it. Again, the price was 250. They're at like every Home Depot. Um, there's are some that I haven't seen yet, but they're at most Home Depots right now. And I always see at least two or three of them on the display shelf in the, um, in the promotional uh, item section. I haven't seen them in the tool section. They're on the floor in the promotional area. So, um, Again, that part number is 2866-22CTP. So let's dig right into it. Just looking at the back, it just gives you the standard specs. Um, it says faster than corded, auto start mode, and up to three times longer run time. This, this particular kit does come with two red lithium 2.0 batteries, which are not um, 21700 cells and they're not HO batteries. So that's why I personally felt like it wasn't worthwhile. While the fact still remains that you do get two batteries included with it. So there's two additional batteries I now have. It's a 2.0 battery. So you, to, in my opinion, you're not getting much out of that battery. That's just my opinion. I am somewhat of a fan of the standard 5.0 battery that comes with everything. But like I always say in every one of my tool videos, uh, when it comes to Milwaukee fuel tools, if it's a Milwaukee fuel tool, I feel like it should come with an HO battery. It's a much better battery. It has the uh, intelligence and, and intellect built into the battery. I feel like that it should always, every fuel tool should be accompanied with and come with an HO battery. So to me, this kit should have came with two of uh, the HO 3.0 batteries and it would have totally made this kit worth it. That's just my opinion. Sorry for rambling on. Um, and again, here's some specifications. And I, there's no point in doing this, but I'm gonna do it for you guys anyway. I'll just put that in there and hopefully that's in frame and I'll get a snippet of that and put the specs in the description as well as in the edit. So let's get it opened up. Again, I bought this like a couple weeks ago. So it wasn't that long ago that I purchased this item. It's gonna be good to have. I already have one of these cutout tools and I absolutely love it. So I know you're wondering like, hey, complete, why do you have a cutout tool? Um, because it's Milwaukee and it's a tool that I that when you need it, you absolutely have to have it. Because there are some scenarios where I have been in situations where we do build out and I have built out my own uh, MDFs and IDFs and you have to put the fire rated, fire treated wood in there. So you have to go over outlets and sometimes a fire alarm device or two. So that cutout tool is a blessing to have. So, and it's good to know how to use it. So let's dig right in. I've never actually, uh, entered one of these. So I'm gonna actually do it because I have a pile of them in one of these bags over there. So I'm gonna actually get to enter and see if I actually get something. Some some pretty good tools on there. So it might be worthwhile. So I'm gonna do that. And then you got your standard charger. Again, another quick rant. I'll keep it under 30 seconds. Milwaukee always associates these batteries and includes these batteries with a fuel tool. It's a fuel tool, the actual drywall screw gun. To me, there should always be an HO battery and a rapid charger uh, associated with the fuel tool. That's just my opinion. I really do feel like it should be that way. I understand that these batteries are the ones that came with it, so it makes sense, but I just still feel a little sensitive, a little salty that it's always, we're always getting this standard charger, which it overheats and it's kind of sluggish. But 
They just can't be choosers, of course. So here we go with our uh, red lithium 2.0 batteries. And to be honest with you guys, these are my first 2.0 batteries. That's how much I pretty much try to stray away from this type of battery. I don't really like anything less than the 5.0. And I just have to accept that the 5.0 comes with pretty much every kit. So we'll put those up here. Take a look at this beauty here. Ooh, it's kind of oily. Got your tool for your drywall cutout tool, I believe. Rocky logo, like a bottle opener. And your cutout tool. I love the barrel grip on this cutout tool. I use primarily the 5.0 in this all the time. I like the way it sounds. I just like the feel of this tool. Great ergonomics and uh, I'm not as efficient as those uh, those drywall installers that are on construction sites and stuff. Those are some bad boys, but this is a great tool. I see them utilize this tool a lot. I see them utilize this as well. And that's what uh, gave me the confidence and uh, uh, motivated me to go purchase this because I see them using the crap out of this in, in the Hilti brand. That's the most common style that I see on the job sites. So that's pretty much that. That's all that comes in the bag. And again, like in other videos, the fuel bag just feels different. It feels like a different material. I could be wrong, but it definitely says fuel on it and it's prettier. So that's all that matters, right? So let's get that over there. So I have some uh, fully charged 5.0s just for testing purposes. Because these batteries only have one uh, indicator on it. So we're not going to get too much juice out of that. So again, on this uh, drywall screw gun, it has a forward and reverse. But it's not like what we're accustomed to. To where we toggle right here on the body of it it uh it's just a switch that toggles from left to right so you have your lock your left and then your right all the way over right there okay so let's go ahead and move these batteries aside and get the 5.0 in there and then crank it and then we'll go in reverse and that's pretty much how that works then you have your uh your settings here so your bedman depth and all that good stuff there again you hit it and it goes so it's designed it's designed and then they have auto start here and this is not like a standard drill this is this is designed to continue to run and to continue to jab in down jab in down that's pretty much the motion of this particular tool. So it's not anything like um, this tool where we have much more control and it's nothing like your standard drill driver or hammer drill driver. This is designed for very specific applications and um, rapid motion and movements and uh, articulation of driving those screws in. So that's what this tool is for. It's a fuel tool, so it's brushless. Uh, I know th I know this tool really well. Like I, like I said, I've seen a lot of guys using them out there, and I got to handle it as well and learn a little bit about it. So again, you guys, we have our uh, adjustments here for our depth and to remove um, to remove and install and um, place. Excuse me, and place another style of bit. Because the most common one is Phillips, but you'll see all different types. Excuse me. So I'll go ahead and lock that one, and then we'll grab um, this uh, 5.0. It's uh, fully charged as well. And we'll slap that in our oscillating our uh, oscillating tool. I'm sorry. We'll go ahead and slap that into our cutout tool. So this tool has uh, several little features that to get um, this particular die here out. This one will articulate our guide here. And then we have our forward, which is here, and then our stop. So that engages it. And that hits it. So there's no button that we can just lay on. There's no button to lay on. It's pretty much similar to this. So it goes like that in whatever motion you need. And that's pretty much it. It's a loud tool. It has a lot of RPMs and a lot of torque on it. And it's a great tool. I mean, I wish I can, you know, like they say, smell a vision. I wish I can kind of like share the feel of this tool. It's perfect. It has a perfect fit for my size hand. So uh, Milwaukee did a fantastic job on this tool. Again, there is there is really no other use for this particular tool unless you're working like uh, on deck, on decking, um, fence posts, your fencing installer, you know, doing installing wood posts, 
uh, you're doing, like I said, the reason why I purchased uh, both of these, this one is maybe my second one, is for laying out and installing the fire um, fire treated plywood within MDFs and electric rooms. Um, if that's what's if that's what's within the spec, excuse me. So that's where this tool comes in handy. Instead of taking an impact, which is this, this is my um, M18, the, the brushless fuel surge impact driver. This tool is great. It almost feels like it doesn't have any pulsation with the impacts at all, as compared to the Gen 3 or the Gen 3 and a half um, M18 fuel brushless impact. This is a great tool. It's just you you feel it. A very comfortable tool. Great ergonomics but you definitely feel it and you definitely can hear it. So this one is just much quieter and it almost has the feel of a, uh, a standard uh, drill driver. Very, very well designed and that hydraulic, uh, those hi that, that hydraulic design is just absolutely incredible. So of course this one doesn't have it, but like I said, it's brushless and those are the different applications for it. But typically I've always utilized this. So it'll be great to have this and laying out and uh, building and completing those um, data rooms, MDFs, IDFs, TRs, ERs, whatever you want to call them. Um, if that's exactly what that's for. So that, to me, there is value in this kit if it came with the um, HO 3.0 batteries and a rapid charger. That would make this kit uh, steel and it would definitely make it worthwhile. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was just a quick unboxing. I know I mentioned earlier in the video that we'll be doing a comparison. We will be doing a comparison video in some materials with uh, all of these and the drill driver to see which um, one differs, how they differ, which is better, if there's even a purpose for this. And uh, um, can, can it be done with this in the, in the same amount of time or as efficient? Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for saying um so much. Um, I said it again. I apologize again. That's just me. So guys, please check me out on uh, Instagram. It's spelled the same with a K, Complete Tech Crew. If you guys are looking for more information or need anything or want to see some reviews out sooner that I haven't gotten to yet from all the this stuff that I've been hoarding back here. And you know I have a problem. I'm sorry. It's just what I love. And all this red, this whole sea of red. Let me know. There's a lot of stuff back here that I got to dig into. So if it isn't coming fast enough for you, drop me some comments on Instagram. Drop me some comments on uh, YouTube. And I'll get it out for you as soon as I can. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you uh, for subscribing. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Peace.